Hi everybody, this is a quick tip from Dr. Nikki. You all need to make these. They're cheap, they're sturdy, and you can do a million things with them. So get you some pipe cleaners, fold them at the ends, put 10 beads. So you're gonna have five red, five white, or whatever Walmart has on sale. That's what you're gonna have on your beaded every life. But you do need two different colors. And you're trying to use five as that benchmark number. So this just goes through 10. Now watch, I can say to the kids, Move them all over to the right. Move all your beads over to the right. I could say, I want to have 10 beads, but I only have a few. How many could I have? This is a good question from uh, Marion Small. I only have a few. What could I have? And then the kids are going to show you. They're working on that idea of a few. They could show you one. They could show you two. They could show you three. That's a few, right? You could say, I want to have 10 beads. And I almost have them. Not quite, but I almost have them. Then they could show you like nine beads. Or if you almost have them, you could have seven. I love this game because everybody can play and there's no one right answer. There are answers though, like if you say, I want 10 beads and I almost have all of them. Somebody shows you one. They haven't quite got the concept yet. But in general, it's just so good because you're working with that vocabulary and you're working with the tools so they can reason and think about it. So get you some pipe cleaners. I'm going to come on and show you guys some other games that you can play with these pipe cleaners as well. Happy napping.